Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use the Nuke camera projection to remove something from your shot. So first of all I'm just going to create a read node to bring in my footage and uh, then I'm just going to connect my viewer to that. And before we start let's just look at our project settings by pressing S and then I'm just going to set my resolution to HD uh, 1080p and we can close that down. And then in the view area, I'm just going to press H to maximize our view area. And if we play through this quickly, you'll see it's a handheld shot. And I'm going to try and remove one of these yellow text um, or yellow uh, sign uh, on the floor. And we're going to be using camera projection to do that. So first of all, uh, before we start, we first need to do a camera track to do some uh, 3D camera tracking. And before we do that, I'm going to sharpen my footage. So I'm just going to add a sharpen node to my footage. And uh, the amount I'm going to leave to one. So if we disable that, you'll see there's a bit of a difference just to help with the camera tracking. And then we're going to add a camera tracker. Okay, so if we go into the camera tracker settings on the first tab, make sure it's on free camera because this is a free camera. And everything else I'm going to leave as default. And then we're going to go to settings and I'm going to change my features to 500 and you can preview that quickly and I'm not really going to go into uh, the camera tracker settings I've got a separate tutorial on that so I'm just going to quickly do a camera track so I'm going to go to uh, camera tracker again click on track and that will start our camera tracking okay so once your tracking is done you can click on the solve button to solve your camera track okay that's done and I'm going to go to my auto tracks just to quickly look at the score and it's currently below one which is really good and i'm just going to quickly refine this so i'm going to change my minimum length i can probably up this to around 20. um yeah 20 is fine and then i'm going to bring my maximum track error a little bit uh, lower to around three and maximum error i'm going to bring down to around five okay and then i'm going to go delete rejected and then i'm also going to delete the unsolved trackers click yes and then we're going to refine them. So I'm going to just tick these three boxes and click on refine solve. Okay, so our score is currently 0 0.83, which is very good. So now I just want to quickly set the floor area. So I'm just going to select some of these trackers on the floor or on the ground area, just like that. And you don't have to select all of them, just uh, quite a few, something like that. And then I'm going to right click on one of them and go to ground plane, set to select it. So if we go into our 3D view, um, if we zoom in here, but you'll see that we uh, that we've set those uh, trackers to the ground. Okay, that's good. So let's go back to our 2D view, and now we can create our scene. So I'm going to drop down and select scene, and then we're going to deselect this link output. We don't want to do that, and then we're going to go create, and that's basically going to create a camera and a scene for us, and also a 3D point cloud. And then we also want to create a scanline renderer. So I'm just going to create a scanline renderer. And I'm going to connect my camera and also my uh, scene is already selected and then also my background which is the footage and I'm just going to try and make this a little bit neater by holding down control okay something like that and then I'm going to connect my viewer to my scanline renderer so I can actually see what's happening okay so if we play through this quickly we'll see uh, that we've got a good track everything is sticking nicely to the footage Okay, so the next step is to create a clean frame just by using one frame and painting out the sign or the object that you want to remove from your shot. So I'm going to create a roto paint node and I'm going to connect that straight to my footage. And uh, if we go into that settings of that node, so I'm going to make sure I'm on the first frame and I'm just going to disable my point cloud so we don't see that. And then I'm just going to connect my viewer to that roto paint node so that I can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to zoom in here a bit, something like that. And uh, then I'm going to use the clone tool here on the side and you can hold in command just to set the area that you're going to paint. Just zoom in there a little bit more. And then I'm just going to really quickly just try and paint this out. Now I'm just going to do a really quick rough job here. So just something like that. I know it's not perfect, but it's just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so that's painted out and we can uh, just zoom out there a little bit. So if I play this back now, you'll see that it's only affected that first frame. Um, and that's because we're going to use that one frame and project that onto our image. Um, then next, I'm going to create a uh, frame hold. 
and I'm just going to connect that to my roto paint. So if we go into the properties of our frame hold, you'll see it says first frame is zero, but we actually painted out on frame number one. So I'm going to change that frame number or the first frame to one. And if we play through this, you'll see it will hold that frame. Okay, that's perfect. And I'm going to connect my viewer back to my scanline renderer. And uh, next what we want to do is uh, we want to create a project 3D node. So I'm going to create a project 3D node and uh, that's going to be connected to that frame hold. So the next step is to create a new camera from our current camera and the new camera is going to be used as our projector. So I'm just going to do a command C and then just command V again to paste that new camera. And I want to go into the settings of the second camera and I'm just going to call it a uh, projector. That's just to make things a little bit easier. And uh, because this camera was copied from our original camera, it's got all the keyframes on. And I want to delete all the keyframes and only keep the, the keyframe or the one frame where we actually painted out um, that sign, which was frame number one. So make sure you're on frame number one and on that projector. And then I'm just going to right click here where it's blue and I'm going to go no animation and then yes. And the same on all these others. You can actually just click on this little squiggly line at the back and go no animation yes and the same on our rotation no animation yes and that's just going to remove all the keyframes so if we go into our 3d view you'll see if i scrub through here you'll see that we have two cameras one camera is actually moving and one camera is still and if we go to the first frame they will both be on the exact same position Okay, that's very important and let's go back to our 2d view okay next we're going to create a card so let's just create a card node just a normal card and we're going to connect this to our scene so i'm just going to place it in somewhere just make some space here somewhere here connect it to our scene and you'll see it's going to create this card in your scene so let's just give it a quick texture i'm going to create a checkerboard texture and i'm going to connect that image uh, to that uh, texture and basically if we play through this you'll see that we have this uh, card in our scene so next we want to line up this card so it actually covers that sign that we're going to remove so I'm going to go into my 3d view and uh, on this card I'm just going to try and rotate it so I think the x axis must be 90 degrees cool that's flat and um, now you can see it's on the floor so let's go back into our 2d view and we can scale it down a bit. So I'm going to set my scale to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And then we also want to try and move it so it's over or it's covering that sign. Okay, so let's just close that down again. Let's go into our 3D view, go into that card. And I'm just going to try and move it a little bit further away from the camera. Let's go back into our 2D view. And that's pretty good. I'm just going to move it over slightly, something like that. So if you play through this, you'll see that that card is sticking nicely to the floor and we're ready for the next step. Okay, next we're going to connect our projector camera to our scene. So I'm just going to make a little bit of space here and I'm going to connect the projector to the scene. And then I'm going to use this project 3D node and connect the camera pipe to my projector. So it's basically going to use this camera as a projector to project that um, that frame hold that we created here okay next we also want to uh, delete this checkerboard uh, texture so i'm just going to delete that and in this card node it's got an image input and i'm going to connect that to the project 3d node and you'll see that will disappear and if i play through this you'll see that that sign is removed from our shot let's just play through it quickly and see if we have any issues and already there i can kind of see some edges of that uh, that that card that we created Okay, now you won't always see this issue. Uh, let me just zoom in here a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. You can see these lines there. Um, here at the beginning, it's actually looking all right, but as we move on into the scene, the lighting probably changed a bit as it's a bit of an uh, overcast day. Um, so you might get this problem. And let me quickly show you how to fix that. I'm just gonna make a little bit of space here at the bottom so we can see what's going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a roto from this uh, scan line render output and we're just going to roto that area that's covering the sign and then we're going to place that on top of our footage so really simple i'm just going to create a roto node and just slot it in here and let's just zoom in here a little bit and then i'm going to quickly disable this roto paint here at the top so we can just see where the sign is so on this roto here at the bottom i'm going to quickly draw a roto around our sign just something rough like that 
And then I'm just going to quickly go through the shot and just move that roto so it stays over that sign. So very quickly, just go through here, create a few keyframes. Don't have to be perfect. Um, let's go to the last frame. Okay, something like that should probably be okay. But I'm just going to add a few more keyframes. And then on that roto, I'm just going to change the feather amount. I'm just going to change it to 100 and in the feather fall off, I'm just going to change it to, to around 5. That should be fine. That's just going to give us a nice little feather around it so we don't see that lighting change. Okay, let's close that down and let's enable our um, roto paint node again. And um, then basically we're going to go into this roto at the bottom and just change the pre-multiply to RGBA so we only see that. And let me just zoom out here a bit. And then we're going to create a merge node. And I'm going to place this roto that we just did over our original image. So I'm going to connect the A pipe to that roto, B pipe to our original clip. And let's place our viewer onto the merge. And let's quickly play through that. Cool. So we managed to remove our sign completely from the shot. You can obviously go ahead and add some grain to your camera projection just to match the grain in the footage. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you want to see more advanced tutorials or more beginner tutorials. And uh, remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to see more. Give me a thumbs up if you like this one. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.